Right, especially that first 50 minutes or so. Uh, I might let Adam answer that sort of more so than myself, but I saw a lot of good things in the first half, yeah. But I've been seeing them without, um, you know, being disrespectful, but, but for, for a long time in our games, which kept my belief going, we just didn't capitalise on those opportunities. And tonight we did. Adam's got a lot to do with that too. The, I knew when I saw him, it's the happiest I've been when he came in early in the week and said that he could be available this weekend. Well, my my whole energy just, just rose. Um, and the rest of the group did with his training. That's that's why we got him here, is he's a leader. He's a great leader on the field, great leader off the field. And I, I think that really showed through tonight with him on the field. And the other guys just doing their jobs. Um, but that's what Adam brings to our team. It's like all the great halfbacks, that's what they bring. Adam, what point did you actually feel conf confident you'd be able to play? Because I think like, when we saw you listed on Tuesday, the suggestion was still that you might be another couple of weeks, even at that point. Uh, yeah, Monday morning, probably Sunday, I was no chance. Um, I did a bit of contact work on Monday with uh, Josh McGuire, he's a big boy. So to be thrown around by him and, um, you know, try and wrestle, got a bit of confidence out of that. Um, then I sort of talked to the physios about trying to be named in the extended squad. I um, was just excited to get back in there with the team. Uh, I've seen all the hard work that's been going on behind the scenes and in games. There's been evidence, like Kev said, through games where we've been really good in patches, just probably not consistent enough. Um, but yeah, I thought tonight was a, a step in the right direction. And you got through it fine, no, no issues? All good, yeah. All good? All good. Well, <laughs> well, how hard has it been though, mate? Because obviously the last couple of months haven't been great for the Broncos, let's be honest. Like just watching on and feeling kind of helpless, I imagine, in some ways. Yeah, you always want to be out there with your team. Um, you know, in the good times and the bad times, you ride that wave together. And um, you know, sitting up there with the, in the coach's box with Kev, um, I love that, but I, I'd rather be out there on the field um, with my teammates and um, in battle with them. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of hard work to get back there. The physios have worked, um, you know, over hours on me to, to get me back to this position. So, um, yeah, grateful for a lot of people to obviously give me this opportunity. Did that, um, the way the team were going, did that sort of, not rush back, but it's sort of, I guess, hurry you back a little bit more? Like, do, do you think you would have been back to play this week if things hadn't been going the way they yeah, were? Yeah, I was comfortable in playing this week. I, I wouldn't have been out there if I didn't think I could get through 80 minutes or if I wasn't strong enough. Um, you know, I wasn't going to be selfish to just put myself out there on the field. Um, I still need to do a job in the team and, um, you know, I, I can't go out there at 50 or 80%. I need to go out there and do my job to the best of my ability to obviously make the team, um, you know, function out there on the field. Kevin, can you talk to your origin players that backed up, particularly Reese? There was a lot of spark there and he seemed right, yeah. right in his groove from pretty early on. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, there's, there's two ways you can go after losing a series and, and, and the game the other night, you can sulk about it or, you know, get back and go. And I thought those three were, were very good players for us tonight. And along, with, you know, with Adam, um, Adam and Reese have got a really unique com combination that only those two sort of, you know, when they get on the field, they just know what each other's doing. And, and Paddy and Payne, well, they hold our middle together. They're real warriors, those two. I mean, after that game the other night, particularly in the middle, you know, Paddy did a knock out 80 at Origin and virtually had to drag him off tonight because he wanted to stay on. Um, but, yeah, they, they're both really good tonight. Payne's had, a, Payne's had a really special week with the win on, on Wednesday and then tonight, and, and Paddy hasn't won for well, not quite that long. Well, yeah, Origin won, whatever that was, which was a long time ago as well. So there's a lot of guys in that shed. Um, very grateful for the win, you know, tonight. Um, so, yeah, we're... We're happy, but we know we can be a lot better, and, and we will be. And I thought tonight was some really good signs, both with our attack and also our defence. Adam, can you talk to having you know, being back out there and just seeing Reese when he's in that kind of mood, just creating and breaking the line and setting up, working with you guys? Yeah, he's a competitor. Um, he loves playing football. He studies. He's a unique type of fella. It's my job out there to keep a calming influence because... Um, because he's, he's hard to yeah. calm down. <laughs> he's hard to calm down at times. He sees a lot of things and um, and tries to play a lot, which is which is great. Um, you know, you'd rather have those plays in your team than than not. And um, yeah, it's obviously a combination that we'll keep working on at training. But like Kev said, it's a step in the right direction. Um, you know, we need to build on this performance and, and get better for next week.
Kevin, do you think it's as simple as having Adam back out there for Reese? Like, Reese has played well, he's had some good moments in the last couple of months, but probably not as dominant as he was tonight. No, well, sometimes that's, you know, that's as simple as it is. I mean, they're two of our best players and they're back playing together. You talk to any of the clubs and that have their two best players out, it's, it's, it makes it harder for, for everyone. Um, but, you know, they, yeah, they, they, <laughs> they're good together. Um, and Adam, with his style of play and the way he plays, really suits Reese and his style of play. So together, they're, they're very dynamic. There was a bit said about Reese and his form through Origin you know, in the last couple of days since Origin 3, like, and I guess, question about whether he was able to step up and dominate in the big stage in the Origin arena. Yeah. Do, do you think that, I know, that fired him up at all in the last couple of days? Going no, I don't there? think so. Um, you know, there'd be a few Queenslanders there that, that thinking, you know, their Origin series could have could have been a little bit better, you know, but he was trying. They're all trying. Sometimes it doesn't go your way in, in all sorts of games, and that's been the case for us as well. A lot of things not sort of just clicking and just not quite right. Whereas tonight, a, a few of those things got right for us. And Reese was one of those. Uh, it was good for him tonight to get some confidence back in and the way he plays and, you know, um, he's very hard to defend against when he gets moving. And um, that's that's the way that he likes to play and that suits us. And I think nice. you now need up, still up to six for your last seven to make the finals. When you when you look at the way you guys play, it's not the way that Adam and Reese play together. Is that what gives you the belief that, you know, it's there to be done? Yeah. Well, we're just going to enjoy tonight because we haven't won for feels like three years, but it's been 60 days, 60 odd days. So, and we'll worry about the rest of it, you know, tomorrow. It's a really happy dressing room. I'm happy for the players because they're under enormous pressure. I'm happy for all the staff and everyone upstairs because everyone's been under enormous pressure. But um, we stuck together, and we, you know, we're not through the other side yet, but we've put a foot halfway through the fence, so we bust the fence down now. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Thank you.